Alvan. So Surrender Paul is Dr. Bronner's sister company, the first project worldwide to produce organic and fair trade coconut oil. Surrender Paul grew out of a tsunami relief project across the region. 80,000 people are dead. At least 22,000 of them were killed here in Sri Lanka. The wave started at speeds of as much as 500 miles an hour. Nothing and no one can stand against them. In late 2004, the tsunami hit Sri Lanka. 30,000 lives were lost. One of our main dudes, Gero Lassone, he set up this nonprofit that he called Second Aid. And I was like, you know, Gero, we're already wanting to, to go fair trade. And this would be kind of cool to pivot off this tsunami relief work and set up a fair trade operation in Sri Lanka. And that was kind of the genesis of Serenipol. Everything we buy and consume has a human component to it. Some human labor went into that thing you're buying. And was that labor respected or was it exploited? My grandfather was Dr. Bronner, who basically built this company uh, on the principle of uniting the human race. <laughs> Our mission statement is, is, uh, is not very narrow. <laughs> We've tried to take my grandfather's philosophy, which he wrote on the bottle, and apply it to our spheres of influence, how we treat our employees, how we treat the earth from which we get our materials, and how we treat the workers who make those materials. That is why we've gone fair trade. That is why we've gone organic. That all culminates in fair trade coconut oil. What we wanted was to have a chain where you knew where the materials came from and that they would be produced under socially responsible and environmentally sustainable conditions. Gero asked me, do you think we can do organic and fair trade here? I said, tell me what you want. I'll make some inquiries and I'll tell you if we can do it. None of us had any experience with making coconut oil before. Neither had we done organic and fair trade. So then we started looking for partners and facilities. Fair trade has many facets to the customer. It's a reliable source, fair pricing and fair terms. To the employee, it's good working conditions, regular work, fair wages, health and safety. To the farmer, it's fair payment terms, fair price for their nuts, and transparency. The transparency. <laughs> We call it here the tree of life. Essentially, nothing from this coconut tree is wasted. We are recycling the coconut shell from the coconuts we use every day. These shells go in to fire our boiler, which gives us the energy that is needed for the process inside. Over here, we are de-shelling the coconut. We have a doctor visiting twice a week, and we have a physiotherapist visiting twice a week. We have full-time nurse all the time. We are going to our nut yard, where we store coconuts. These huskers have 21 days paid leave, medical privilege leave. They're entitled to bonus. Last year, we paid three months bonus. Treat everybody in my supply chain with fairness. Grower, worker, hatcheter, factory owner, factory workers, even my customers. That is my idea of fair trade. I think it's just good management of your operation with long-term relationships to your suppliers plus strong involvement in community development. And that's where the fair trade premium comes in. We charge a fixed amount from all of our buyers. It's credited into the fair trade fund. We decided that part of that fund will be distributed to all the people who are a part of our value chain, starting from the farmer to the employee to the community. We use the fair trade funds to subsidize the fertilizer that we give the farmers. They get a natural input to improve their yields. It is through these initiatives like soil fertility, interest-free loans, that the farmers benefit from through the Fair Trade Fund. To us, the employees really are one of our main stakeholder groups. One of our key beneficiaries were our workers. Mahatya Netwila. I would 
எல்லாமே சேர் வேணாம் சேர்த்த மாதிரி தான் இந்த ஸ்கூல் புக்ஸ் திஸ் க்ளோதிங் த ஷூஸ் எவ்ரி திங் ஹேஸ் பி ஸ்பெண்ட் பை த பேரண்ட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் அ பிக் ஜங்க் ஆஃப் த இன்கம் வி அனலைஸ் தட் அண்ட் வி டிசைடட் தட் இஸ் ஒன் வே ஹவ் அவர் எம்ப்ளாயீஸ் வுட் பெனிஃபிட் அண்ட்ஸ் ஹேஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டேக் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபேர் ட்ரேட் ப்ரீமியம் இஃப் யூ ஆர் அன் எம்ப்ளாயி ஆஃப் சரனி போல்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி டேக்கன் கேர் ஆஃப் லக்கின் அப்புறம் லோகு ஹையா சரனி போல் ஆச்சேனே as we started building up the fair trade fund and we received quite a bit of money we then started thinking of well what other benefits can you provide to your workers oftentimes they don't have indoor plumbing there's no indoor toilet facilities the houses are usually very very modest every two years we give employees a grant for housing improvements we defined who the value chain was so for us it was the farmer as one community employees as another community and the community that we operate in the coconut triangle that fund is used for community development projects focusing on key issues such as healthcare education environmental improvements vocational training infrastructure electricity connection to remote villages that hadn't been connected previously oh, We have done at least 650 projects, spent over 1.2 million the past eight years. I think we have made a change. I am proud to say we are probably the leading exporter in the world of organic and fair trade VCO. If Dr. Bronner's did not dictate the fact that they needed fair trade or organic, we wouldn't have gone down this road. They dropped the idea into our head. and they give us all the support to go ahead and do it i never expected this project to go to this level i never expected this project to make attitude changes in people to the level that it has i never expected this project to be the change agent it is now santa poa right now is at like 2600 metric ton output a year and it's going to double in the next two years and it's incredibly it was incredibly difficult now we've done it we've inspired other people to also build these and created a demand and brought it into other commodities. Fair trade is not about coffee and cocoa, it's about everything. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow.